So what we have with us today is the latest release from Widex and this is the Widex Beyond. Uh, so this is Widex's first made for iPhone hearing aid. Uh, so it is only available at this stage in the Fusion or the receiver in the ear model. So if we take a closer look, we've got a button at the back. Uh, that button can act as a volume control, uh, program control, or a bit of both. So it does depend on how it's programmed for you. Since it is a receiver in the ear, we've got a thin wire connecting to the speaker unit. And we've got a rubber dome on the end with that plastic lock coming down. So the Fusion is a 312 device. So if we pry open that battery door and we can place that 312 battery inside like so and give that a close. Now if we place this on the dummy Okay, so the hearing aid does sit maybe halfway down the ear, uh, yet we still have access to the button at the back. And we've got that thin wire coming down with the speaker unit sitting deep inside the ear canal. Okay, so let's have a closer look at this app. So once the hearing aids are paired, we should be greeted with this screen. Now we've got two programs uh, programmed into the hearing aid. We've got a universal and a music mode. So if you do want to switch programs, if we hit music, uh, it just switches over to that icon. And if we go back to universal, it switches back to universal. Now underneath we've got a volume slider. Now the great thing is we do get a numerical value telling us where we're at. So if we want to go back to the midpoint, we just bring it back down to 5. Uh, you can also tap the little speaker as well. If you want to quickly mute the hearing aids, you can select the mute function as well. Now the greatest feature I think with this app is the equalizer. So what this actually does, it gives you a bit more control over the hearing, so a bit more fine tuning. So if you feel that you want to give yourself a bit more mid-pitch, you want to roll down the high frequencies to make things less tinny. Uh, you do have that control. You can also use the presets below to make any adjustments. You can also make independent left and right control. So if you want a little bit more volume in the right or the left, you can do so quite easily. Now another feature that I like is this add new program. So let's say, for example, you go out regularly, uh, but you find in a noisy environment you're not getting as much high pitch as you'd like. So what we could do is create a program which gives you a little bit more high frequency. Uh, we can go back and add a new program. Select Save. And now we've just created a favorite program. So if we go back to Universal and we go into the Sound menu, and we check the equalizer, we've got a flat response. But if we switch into the newest program we created, go into sound menu, equalizer, you can see we've got more high frequency than before. So a great feature with this is you can create your own program. So again, giving you more control. Another feature we like is find my hearing aid section. So if you do misplace your hearing aids, uh, there is a feature which tells you where they were last seen. And there's also a, another mode to help you find where they are. Now if we go back, another feature we also like is the directional focus. 
So you can choose to focus the hearing aids to the front, back, left or right, again giving you more control. At the top we can also check battery status. Uh, as you can see it's telling us that the batteries are looking okay uh, and it's connected via Bluetooth. And that's the app. The hearing aids are water resistant with an IP68 rating. Uh, it is telecoil enabled, which allows a hearing aid to connect to T loop systems uh, found in places of worship or in landline phones. At this stage, the Beyond is only available in the Fusion model, which are the 220, 330, and the 440. Since it is a made-for-iPhone hearing aid, uh, we can connect via Bluetooth. Uh, we can also connect to Android phones as well, however there are limited features which we will discuss further. The Fusion will fit most hearing losses, as the receivers are interchangeable, so we are able to fit a more powerful receiver to this hearing aid. The WideX app is available on the Apple App Store. Uh, the app is only compatible with the more recent iPhones. Uh, since this is a made-for-iPhone device, we can use this app for Bluetooth streaming of both phone calls and media. We can also use the app as a remote control for the hearing aids, uh, giving you the ability to change the volume, programs, and fine-tune the hearing aids as well. The app is also available on the Google Play Store. However, for Android, we can only use the app as a remote control. Android at this stage does not allow Bluetooth audio streaming to hearing aids. That was our overview on the WideX Beyond. Uh, if you have any questions, you can reach us at valuehearing.com.au. Thanks for watching.